Hey guys, East Texas Wild Man. Got something special for you today. I got a new knife. This is the Battle Horse Knives Attitude. Just got it in. Um, let me talk a little bit about Battle Horse Knives. They used to be formerly Blind Horse Knives, which I've been carrying one of their. Uh, like it's a bush, bush crafter that was made for the canteen shop. So it's got the old blind horse knife logo on one side and then it's got the canteen shops logo on the other side I don't know if you can see that I've uh, been carrying this for four years been an awesome knife awesome companion it's done everything I wanted it to do I just wanted something a little bit bigger so you all saw my review of my butcher knife when I used it for well, almost six months and it was it was a good knife but in my opinion it was a little bit too big so I wanted something in between. So I chose the Battle Horse Knives Attitude. Okay, a little bit about Battle Horse Knives. It used to be Blind Horse Knives. It was owned by L.T. Wright and Dan Coppins. And they're both up in Ohio. They both had separate knife shops and they worked all the orders, built all the knives between the two shops. Well, in 2013 they split. Um, and LT Wright makes his own custom knives now, and Dan Coppins uh, took over and uh, started his own company, his being called Battle Horse Knives. Both knife builders make extremely good knives. Um, this knife has a lifetime warranty, replace, money refund, whatever on it. So, service with these people is excellent. Uh, you can talk to them, you can give it whatever you'd like. I mean, it, they, they have a production line of knives, or let me say style. Then you go in, you customize it yourself the way you want it. And that's what I've done here. So let's get into this knife. Okay, first thing is let's talk about the sheath. Now, when you buy a knife, they give you sheath op options. I mean, you can go leather sheaths, you can go right hand, left hand, dangler, belt loop. You can have a fair sam rod loop on it or no loop. Uh, the Kydex, Kydex with leather backing. Um, just so many options you have. I chose the, the Kydex with the leather backing on it and the fair sam loop. Uh, the Kydex on my sheath is, I mean, the craftsmanship is superior. Uh, really good job. It's a little bit tight. But I think that'll work out a little bit, or I can loosen it up later. It does have the thumb lock on it, so you can lock it down. Why you would do that, I don't know. I mean, if I was still jumping out of airplanes, I might put the lock on, but I don't do that anymore. So, uh, the Ferrisium loop was made for 3 8 Ferrisium rod. Uh, it was a little bit loose with the 3 8 in it, so I I kind of wiggled my half inch in there until I got it there and I've been stretching it out a little bit and it fits my half inch loop snug, which is good because it won't fall out, but it does fit a half inch loop. It didn't take me 30 seconds to make that fit. So uh, I'm happy with the sheath. Uh, the only issue I would call on it is the, I don't know if you can see it, but the leather and the kydex on this side here don't line up. It's not a smooth surface. It's like they, one of these screws is offset a little bit when they punch their holes. Not an issue, just a cosmetic thing. Very sturdy, this thing will last forever. Okay, let's talk about this knife. First off, this thing's a beast. It didn't come with this leather thing I put that on. It's uh, called the Attitude. It's uh, 3 16 uh, 01 tool still. Overall length on it is 10 inches, 10 and 3 8 inches. The cutting edge is uh, 5 and 3 8 and it's a Scandi grind. Uh, let's see. The overall height of the blade is one inch seven sixteenths. Um, I got the uh, the natural micarta handles with a red liner, uh, G10 liners, 
and they're almost match the micarta, so it's really hard to see. But they are in there. <laughs> if I knew it was going to be that close to match, I probably would have got a little different color liner, but that's all right. It's good. Uh, finish on the knife fit is awesome. Uh, edge is crazy sharp. Uh, the whole thing, the fit and feel in my hand is awesome. There's like the, nothing you couldn't chop with this thing. This is a, it's a big knife. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's quite a bit bigger than what I usually use for bushcraft. But uh, I can't wait to get out and use it and try it. Uh, it feels like I can still do small tasks with it pretty good. Uh, being a skinny grind, I love skinny grind. Uh, I won't have any problem adjusting to that. Uh, it feels like you can chop with it, and the best thing is with batoning, I'm going to have more blade, more tip to hit. And being uh, that it's a 3 sixteenths, there's no way I'm going to tear this one up. And this is the new logo for blind horse knives. There's, I mean, I'm sorry, battle horse knives is just a little diamond on here. Okay, I'll give you a little close up. So three pin, one lanyard hole, all brass. Very heavy knife. It's got a good sharp spine on it for scraping fair seam rod, scraping bark, scraping whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to scrape. Um, I love this knife. I love it. It was a little pricey. Um, Actually, I bought it when they first introduced it, so I got it for a uh, reduced price. Uh, right now on their site, they're selling them for $250. And, uh, which to me is, is a bargain for the quality of knife you get here. I think, you know, four years ago I paid, uh, what did I pay, $200, 225 something like that for this. Uh, smaller blind horse knives and I could say the only difference I've seen in the quality of knives when I bought these two brand when they were both when this was brand new and then this one my skinny on this one was a polished finish this one does not have a polished finish um, you can still see grind marks in it though you can't really fill them I mean it's it's smooth but it's not a polished finish like this one was um, which is not a problem. It doesn't really bother me, it's just the difference in the two. Um, yeah, overall, I love this knife. Feels good, feels real good in my hand. I don't think I'm gonna have any hot spots. Um, I think it's gonna be a good knife to use. So we will have, my next video, we'll do a review, of, not a review, but I'll give it a test and uh, show you how she performs. We'll do the, the standard stuff, you know, I'll baton, I'll strike fair seam rod, blah, 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 all the, the normal stuff and see how she works. I don't think there's going to be any problems. Okay, guys, that's the uh, blind horse, I'm sorry, battle horse knives attitude. Awesome knives. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe like this, uh, this and I will take any comments you have this is my first knife review so if you got any critiques I'm more more than happy to, to air them thanks guys